fifth gen. 9704. Obviously, who's got fifth gen here? Okay, we've got a good amount here. Brake traction control modules, we've all heard about them. <coughs> the reason why you could not find an accurate remanufacturer for 97 to 99 is because the module itself was epoxy resin sealed. Even General Motors tried to go in and melt the epoxy <laughs> off the circuit boards and try and repair them. No, didn't work. No matter what they tried to do, it did not work. So, what ended up happening was that 2001 to 2004, they changed the design so there's no, no longer any epoxy resin. So we've all heard about the C1214s and taking that power relay out and soldering a new power relay in. ABS Fixer is the guy that does that. You can still do that, but remember the diagnostic code is the key part with this ABS traction controllers because I will tell you firsthand, I fixed more by fixing battery terminal issues and connections than I have by replacing modules. Remember that right, connections, not modules. Active handling applications are different from the regular. Remember, what happened? When did active handling come in? 1998 and 99, it was an option that you paid for. In 2000, active handling went standard across the Corvette law. Okay? So you had some modules that didn't have active handling, you had some that did. So be mindful of that one. Stabilizer bar end links. 97 to 99, 2000, we had plastic end links. Yeah, they're nice, but they sucked. The truth of the matter is that when they went to the aluminum ones in Z06, in 2001, that was the one. Those were the good ones. And you could they're the same end link for all four corners. So if you go in, you've got a 99, you can put four aluminum end links in it. Done. Finished. Spark plugs have been revised yet again by General Motors, and they now have iridium tip. Across the line, 9704. They're all the same spark plug. Okay? I had a big discussion. Guy put platinum. Uh, NGK plugs in it, the TR55s or whatever, had horrible, horrible hesitation problems, spark knock, all sorts of other stuff. He didn't want to believe me that you put in the GM plugs, you're going to be fine. So after him going to five different places and spending over $3,000, he spent approximately $290 with me and fixed his problem. Just saying, those spark plugs make all the difference in the world. Don't Believe all the hype about these aftermarkets. Don't believe it. <coughs> Sir? I would take them out. The E3s are good because they're a capacitive discharge, but here's the problem with that. The E3s also create more radio noise and they create more electromagnetic interference. That's the problem. 41-110 AC Delco. There you go. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And don't recap them either. Don't recap them. 41-110 AC Delco. And they work. And they are seamless. One drop of synthetic engine oil on the threads, torque them to 20 foot pounds, and you're done. See you later, Bob. And you know those nice aluminum sleeves that are on those spark plug wires? Don't take them off. Anybody you know why? Radio frequency interference. Do you notice that spring contacts the cylinder head? So where do you think all the electromagnetic interference goes? It's crowded to the block. 